Hey, what's up everyone? In this lesson, we are going to use the Bluetooth module and it's called the Bluetooth module HC05. I'm going to show you how to hook it up to the Arduino. Then we'll be able to control the Arduino board using an app. For example, we can turn on and off this LED. So we have this app and it's working using Bluetooth. Now we can control this LED. For example, we can turn it on and we can turn it off and it's using the serial communication. So recently we have used the serial monitor to communicate with the Arduino board. With the same way, we can use the Bluetooth module. Then you will be able to send some commands. For example, we can use the number one to turn on this LED. And whenever we send the value zero, we can turn it off. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. I appreciate that. And let's jump right into it. So in today's lesson, you will need the Arduino Uno, the breadboard, and the HC05 Bluetooth module. We are going to hook it up to the Arduino so that we can control some devices like this LED. We can switch it on and off using an app that I'm going to show you how to download it. So first let me show you how to hook up this module. Basically we have four main pins that we need to connect and we are going to follow this diagram. Basically we are going to connect these four pins the VCC to the 5 volts, then the GND of the module, we are going to connect it to the GND of the Arduino, and finally we have two more pins, we have the TX pin of the module, we need to connect it to the RX pin of the Arduino board, which has the index 0, and the RX pin of the Bluetooth module goes to the TX pin of the Arduino board, and it's number 1. So let's take this module. I'm going to use the four pins, VCC, G and D. Then we have the TX and the RX. Let me fix it on the breadboard. Then let's start by connecting the VCC pin to the five volt pin. Then we have the GND that I'm going to connect it to the GND of the Arduino. And finally, let's connect it the RX pin. So this is the TX pin of the Bluetooth module, which I'm going to connect it to the RX pin. And it's the pin number zero. Then let's connect it the RX pin of the module. To the TX pin of the Arduino board and that's pretty much it. Now let's move to the Arduino IDE and it's very easy to communicate with the Arduino board through this Bluetooth module and that's because it is using the serial communication. Recently we have used the serial.begin to begin the serial monitor and the same thing for the Bluetooth module. We can use serial.begin to begin the serial communication then we can enter 9600 and that's the baud rate and under the loop we can check if serial dot available so this is going to be greater than zero that means it's true whenever we send a command or a string if it's the case we can read it using serial dot read so this is going to read one character. For example, if we read the number zero, we are going to turn the LED off. And if we read one, we can turn it on. But first of all, we need to hook up our LED. We are going to connect it to one of the digital pins so that we can turn it on and off. So let me take this jumper wire and I'm going to use the pin number 13. Then let's take the ohm resistor. 
So if you don't know how to control an LED using the Arduino board, I highly recommend you to watch my first videos. Then let's connect the longer leg of the LED. And finally we need to go back to the ground pin. We have the GND pin. And it's labeled GND. Then let's go back to the Arduino IDE. And let's add a new variable. And it's going to be the LED pin, which is number 13. So let's go under the setup function and use the pin mode. We give it the LED pin, then the output keyword, then under the loop function, we are going to read a character, which we can store in another variable. So let's go up here and add a new variable. The type is char or character. So this is could be one or zero. I'm going to call it command or C. Then let's assign it using C equals serial dot read. And finally, we need to add another if statement to check if the character C equals one. In such case, we're going to turn the LED on using the digital write command. We give it the LED pin, then the high keyword. But if the character C using else if C equals the character zero. In this case, we are going to switch it off using digital write. LED pin, then the low keyword, and that's pretty much it. So it's very easy to use the Bluetooth module because it's using the built in serial communication. We need to add serial.begin, then we can use serial.read to read some commands, and I'm gonna show you how to send these commands using a Bluetooth app. But first, let's upload the code. And before we upload it, we need to unplug the pins number 0 and 1. So the Arduino IDE is using these pins, the RX and the TX pins, to send the code from the Arduino IDE to our Arduino board. So make sure to do that. Then let's hit upload. And once it gets uploaded, let's give these back. Then you need to download an app. Basically, we have uh, so many apps, like the Arduino Bluetooth controller. Just open up the Google Play Store and search for Arduino Bluetooth controller. For me, I have downloaded this one. Let's open it up. Then we need to pair the Bluetooth with the Arduino. So let's hit OK. Let's open up the Bluetooth. And it's this one, it's called HC05, we can click on it. Here I'm going to add the password. For me it's 1234. And let's hit OK. And once you do that, we can go back to the app. And let's search for the Bluetooth module. And it's called HC05. Now it's connected. Here we have different options. You could use the voice. Also we have the terminal. So let's send the value 1 to turn the LED on. And as you can see it is turned on. And we can turn it off whenever we send the value 0. You could also set up a button. So here we have few buttons. We can set the on command. We are using the number one to turn the LED on and the number zero to turn it off. Let's hit save. Now you could use this button to turn the LED on and off. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. I appreciate that. And I will see you in the next one.